Today I'm going to show you how to use turbo models in Focus. We're going to need a turbo model, so head on over to Civit AI. The one we're going to use today is TurboVision XL, but of course you can use any turbo model that you prefer. Install the turbo model into your Focus Checkpoints folder. You'll find it in your Focus Install folder under Models and Checkpoints. Once the Turbo model is installed in your Checkpoints folder, go ahead and launch Focus. Click on Advanced, and I recommend switching the aspect ratio to 1-1. In my experience with it so far, it seems the Turbo models do a little bit better with that aspect ratio. I'm also turning off styles, but feel free to leave them on if you like. In the Model tab, I will disable the Offset LoRa, but feel free to keep it on if you prefer. Go ahead and switch out the base model for the turbo model that you downloaded. Now head on over to the Advanced tab and change the Guidance Scale to 1.5. Enable Developer Debug Mode, then scroll down to the Sampler and change that to DPM PP SDE. Now where it says Forced Overwrite of Sampling Step, you're going to want to change that to 5. I find that between 4 and 7 usually works best. Anything over that and you start to get a little bit of overcooking, kind of like um, a little bit of a burnt look to it. Now you should be good to go. The Turbo model offers a much appreciated speed boost, particularly for those of us with lower end machines. The first image generation might take a little bit longer as the new model loads, but after that you should see a nice speed boost over the regular SDXL models. Personally, I have an older computer. These turbo models end up running about three times faster on my computer than the regular SDXL models, sometimes even four times faster depending on the other settings that I'm using. So I recommend you Tweak these settings to get the looks that you like the best. This will probably be a pretty decent starting off point, so at least you can start playing with the turbo models inside Focus. These turbo models are a real game changer for those with lower end computers. As the regular SDXL models can take quite some time, feel free to experiment with different settings and find the ones that you like the look of the best. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Please like and subscribe if you found this tutorial helpful.